Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 22 of The Grind. Right to the to-do list, I am really excited about today's episode. Um, so, I'm, I'm basically going to be focusing in on this first item, this building new hangar printer bay. We're still working on it. I'm not going to finish it today. And even though my first priority should probably be this initial defenses thing, I just feel like it's been all sort of just trying to survive and I want a moment of creativity. I'm sure many of you in terms of your ability to create with these tools that we have in Space Engineers um, are much better than me at it, but this is at least a chance for me to just pause for a second and do a little bit of, have a little bit of fun just making it look hopefully nicer. So I've got some ideas for some things that I want to do. In the hangar area and the printer area, I want to redo the printer bay. I want to sort of create some hallways and, and, and actually make the bay area itself that looks down into the printer. I still haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do coming up out of the printer, um, but um, I at least want to, again, get in there, make it look nice. I might go ahead once I've set up the printer bay and print that other collector just to test out the bay. And if we have time, I may try to uh, design and work a little bit on that large grid stinger. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. So I'm, I'm not sure if I'll get to that. But um, anyway, lots of stuff to get to. The hangar bay part is probably gonna take me a while. I've got a loose idea of how I want to do it, but it's not all the way settled. So I'm gonna, I think just sort of time lapse the work that I do specifically, maybe one bit at a time, specifically on the printer and then kind of give you a tour of what I do and kind of go from there. So to the printer area of the hangar bay we go. Once again, stuck in here, not even realizing that I'm being attacked. No idea how this is going, but it looks like something has come to visit. Oh, yep, there it is. Ooh, one of those big milt military whatever ships. The main thing is just please don't fall on my grinding ship. It's funny when I come out here now and see this base out here, it feels foreign to me. Spent so much time on this thing. And now I don't even really pay attention. Okay, you're shooting something else. Looks like a floating battleship from here. Once again, just falling straight to the ground. Let's see how you do. Look at all those resources. All right. Oh, I have got to get out here and clean up. I Before each episode, I basically like scrub or at least try to scrub all of the the ships and stuff that are a certain distance away so it won't really lag up the computer. As you can see, they all come back pretty quickly. Actually, I should scrub them again here really quick, but I don't want to do it with the ones close by because I want all these resources, especially these big ships, but there is a cost to that. Um, ooh, ooh, nice shoot at me. If I can distract those guns. Oh, this lag is so bad every time. Again, that's mostly my fault because I've got so many blocks just sitting around. <laughs> so many parts of this base are just flaming heaps. Why is it that these ships always just sort of come in and crash? It's got to be something with the mod performance issue maybe or something. Nope, 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 nope. All right, now I'm going to back up. Hopefully that bought me enough time for my guns to do their job. Looks like you're being shot at by another person back there. I'm trying to keep it from firing on my weapons and have it fire on me. All right, well, I'm gonna let that do its job now. I think it did its job. Didn't land on anything good or important, which is always good news. Back to the printer, which is coming along somewhat nicely, I think.
Alrighty, let me show you around the new printer. It's, I think it's kind of mostly there. As I mentioned before, I've been kind of just trying to base this off of the design of my 3D printer that I have in real life. So just sort of a base, I stuck the projector in here with some neon around it obviously and um, as you can see I have a collector ready to print we'll see if that works I haven't tr even tried this new system yet there's the new bay I really like how this turned out lighting is not my strong suit that's one of those things when Mavin creates his bases and such he's so good at lighting and I've I'm trying a few things and trying to learn a few new things um, but um, Lighting and then just sort of some of the interior things Trying to think about how to do some paths and such in some cool ways and I'm going to experiment with stuff and would love your thoughts on um, Just general sort of deco and any resources you have for that But it, the bay itself is very bare bones. I'm going to do it up a little bit more once I get going um, Just made a little stairway up and down towards the upper level and then here it is. Here's the bay itself Again, I need a whole lot more in here, but I do love the view. I'm going to light it up here a little bit. But then on the bay itself, as you can see on the bottom in terms of the console, I hopefully have uh, access to all the uh, pistons and the welder itself. And then in the next two uh, toolbars, I have um, all of the different controls I need for the projector itself. And uh, already I feel like hopefully the welders can get a little bit lower than they could before, have better access than they did before. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and try this first, just starting with up and down. Again, I have not tested this even a little bit, so we're just going to kind of give it a go here lowering <laughs> it's a good initial sign that's the top piston on its way down I've already sent all missing uh, parts for the collector to be produced and they have been so hopefully we've got all the parts and pieces that we need to print this up so let's all the way down there on the bottom piston I should have just enough clearance so that it doesn't hit those two blocks right there. I hope. I think it's supposed to start. Um, let's stop right there. No, actually, yeah, okay. Why is it going down that far? Well, maybe there just happens to be a gap right there. I, I did leave some gaps somewhat on purpose because I wanted to save resources and because I thought it looked kind of cool. And I may have just accidentally Looking over at that, I can't tell on the spectator cam. Okay, okay, I'm liking this already and I haven't done anything yet. So now the true moment of truth. Uh, nope. Why is it going that way? Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay, now it should go all the way down. Okay, so all the way to the floor should look something like that. All right, so now we push the start button and see how it goes. I do have a camera situated on the side. I'm starting to wonder if I need to place some more cameras just to be able to get a better view. Um, maybe one's lower? I don't know. This was mainly just to make sure that I had the front to back al alignment on the projection correct. But, all right. <laughs> and go. So those two are printed up and now we're just going to ease up slowly but surely and I'm going to start with the bottom piston. So as soon as it starts to signal that it's doing something, I will. One thing that didn't work last time is it didn't weld the landing gear. Okay, this is already not great. Okay, there we go. Now hopefully it does all of those sections right there. It's just like a real printer, right? Like like a real 3D printer in terms of contact points on the resin. If you don't have all the contact points all the way to the floor, it doesn't work. And that's one of the things about this design that I've got to make sure I get right. Come on. I just need to get what that 
piece there is connected to and make sure it can still reach the other parts. So far this is not great. I guess with that in mind, maybe I just need to make sure... Hmm, let me go down a little bit lower again. I'm gonna go down there here real quick and see if maybe I just need to make sure I have a couple more contact points because I think, yeah, this is just simple. Hopefully I'm not close enough to really hurt myself. So that part prints, which is great. And so if I did another one here, let me just put you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, please don't hurt me. There's a reason why I have this all blocked. All right, so hopefully that will get that part and then that part connected to it. There we go. Now we're going, now we're cooking. Lift you up just a little bit further. Come on, nothing yet? I'm about to get out of range of the landing gear. Ah, how are we out of range of anything? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, let's see how far it'll reach. I think it's gonna have a struggle reaching those bottom parts again. This is the part where I wonder I shouldn't have something from the side or something. Part of it too is, actually it is going deep enough. I think last time I rushed the printer a little bit too. Part of it was I just didn't have a good view. And now with the bay, I can see so much better that I don't have to rush the printing. I have all the pieces. I don't know why it takes so long, but probably because just certain parts take longer than others to weld up. Okay, this is already a good sign. Weld up that landing gear, your friend. Ooh, one thing I have still not prepared for all the way is what's gonna happen when that big old thruster turns on. Just gonna have to repair the base because I don't want to deal with that right now. <laughs> this is one of those situations where I wonder if I should just go into the settings and speed the welder up. Is that, is that cheating? <laughs> speed the welders up because this seems a little silly. Why does it take longer on one side than the other? Weird. There you go. Good. All right, let's lift it a little. Oh, something's welding still. Oh, see? Yeah, I don't know. Kind of want to speed these welders up. I don't understand why it pauses for so long when all of the parts are in the system. <laughs> Do I have too many welders and it's struggling? Like each welder? Actually, is that a thing? With so many welders next to each other, is it an issue where like the different welders nearby are each trying to grab the parts needed for one spot and it just doesn't grab them in a coordinated way? Does that make sense? So like you've got three or four welders all within range and they're each trying to grab the same pieces to print it up and that's what makes it take so long. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't. I feel like that's not what usually happens. I mean, on the Cerberus, I've got two welders close enough together that if that were a problem, it would be a problem. But maybe it's less because it's only two? I don't know. Any of you with welding experience, let me know what you think as to why this is so slow. All right, I think I'm gonna lift you a little bit more again. There we go. That landing gear did not print. Everything else seems to be doing okay. Part of it is maybe this just isn't the most printer-friendly design. You know what might be kind of cool is to send, and this is something that I have not tried at all. I know Mavin's done it and I've seen Splitzy do it. Just some kind of a, like maybe off to the side, some kind of a, you know, like you can control it with your mouse, a welding arm. So once I had done the main printing job here, if I could pull in a welding arm from off to the side and just sort of weld up all the pieces that are that are missing, maybe even have a couple, like one on one side and one on the other side that are kind of low. Huh, I'd have to do some research as to how to do that, but that feels like that could be kind of cool. Don't want to move too fast and miss pieces. 37 of 112. All right. It's funny because on the spectator cam, it shows all the welders firing right now. And that's what threw me off last time because I was using the spectator cam as my view. So I thought it was working the whole time. Whereas right now, as we can see, it's not actually printing anything. I'm gonna put the camera on this toolbar as well, just to see if an extra view shows me anything. Oh, see, isn't it? No, okay, that was just a shading thing. All right, a little further up. 
Here we go, next level. And this has thrusters on it, so this should take a little longer. Yeah, see, here it goes again. All those parts are in there. Just don't know what's taking it so long. Is it welding the whole time and it's just like, you know, some of those parts, it's like three, I know it's not this much, but 3,000 steel plates and it's just right now it is printing and it's just doing those middle ones and the welders are just really slow. I bet you that's what it is, isn't it? It's just really slow. And maybe I need to turn that up. I had hoped with multiple printers in range it would speed it up maybe that was a faulty assumption oh duh i know why that landing gear didn't print because those blocks that i used to connect the printer are infringing on the landing gear and it's probably too low duh i'm worried about that armor that's connected to the large thruster interesting come on what the heck all right, so that's up all the way. It still seems so strange to me. No, it wasn't moving, was it? It's, it can reach those. Why aren't those printing? Sloppy. <laughs> Nervous to move it further. Anything else to print? Yeah, see, it's going to go high enough that it's not going to be able to print all the armor attached to the large thruster. Darn it. Well, maybe not. Guess we'll see here in a second, huh? All right, did it get everything that it could reach? Ah, oh, see, there's like entire thrusters and such that it couldn't reach. That's annoying. See, this is where if I at least had an, that arm going. Okay, there we go. Oh, I think my blueprint is missing some parts. Got some armor missing back there. <laughs> okay, just a second as I reach my PCU limit. See, Collector, you're about to help me with this, too, when I can start collecting all those resources. Good as new. Yeah, well, that doesn't help that I have... i got to update this blueprint. Well, let's see. How did it do on the old projector? Ha! <laughs> Four armor blocks and the landing gear. All that's left. Okay, that's already, though, I will say, way better than it was before. Oop, you know what? I'm going to not pull a stupid as I did before, turn all the welders off, take you all the way up. There we go. All right, let's go check on what still needs to be done here. It didn't blow a hole in the ground. Actually a little weird, I'll take it. Okay, so the landing gear, and then I think it's just the armor blocks over here that it probably couldn't reach that are supposed to be, are those missing too? No. Okay, so thrusters should have all worked. Yeah, see, just a couple armor blocks that didn't print. These are the ones. It's got to be these two, right? One, two. And then the same ones on the other side. And then all we need to do is take these down. The good news is this: the hacking computers didn't even get printed last time. Now it's all fired up. Turn the projector off. Now hopefully I can print. Well, guys, it worked. Found a few bugs and they were all my own fault. But overall, just gonna park this for a second. Should be locked, turn off all the things. All right, let's check you out. You know what? All right, well, once I fix the blueprint with the missing blocks, looks like it worked, right? Way more successful than last time. So the printer works. Yeah, it would be cool, again, maybe to have like an arm sort of stowed away under here that could come up and then print or off to the side. I don't know. What do you think? And, and where where would you recommend getting the information to be able to do an arm oh dear another one of these old guys all right so i think what i'm gonna do i'm going to okay i'm going to pull down a, a just a little more conveyor belt here or conveyor pipes or whatever and put a connector down here so that i just have the two collectors on top of each other just far enough so that the thrusters don't hurt each other and that can at least be where i store the two collectors for now and i have two that was one of the things we've had on our to-do list forever. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then we're gonna revisit the to-do list 
because um, I think what I'm going to end up doing with the time remaining on this episode is simply doing up the rest of the hangar with a few ideas I had left for that. I do also want to get these collectors out there and maybe do a little bit of actual collecting. And the fact that I can do two at the same time should greatly speed up. You know what? I'm actually going to do that. Let's get this guy parked and then I'll take the other fully charged collector out and start collecting some of those resources because if we're hitting PCU limits, I just need to gather those resources and go from there. All right, on to that. Well, potentially against my better judgment, I do feel like I need to get this entryway out more open and using the terrain tool takes forever. So I may regret this, but I am going to use some warheads and at least get some initial base taken out this way and then kind of go from there with the terrain tool. I'm, I kind of want to do in between the two hangar spaces here. I do want to open this entire space up, but I'm really worried that it's just a little bit too close. I'm just going to put... I want this place right here to be straight out and everything above this I think is covered enough that if maybe even just one nice big hole right here will be enough to get the collectors out without bumping into the ground. That's what we're about to find out I suppose. Oh. <laughs> Oops, where did I put the control panel? There you are. <laughs> okay. So, start the countdown. This part always makes me so nervous. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Be nice. It's got to be far enough away. This is good. Warhead mining. Not for the faint of heart. Okay. Okay. Uh, this first one always loves to be slow. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> It's flashing. I can see that from here. It's a 10 second time. Okay, gosh. Oh, see, that's great. That's great. That's great. I don't. Ugh. I'm going to put one more right here just to clear off the corner a bit. And then I think I'll use the terrain tool. I think. I think. All right, let's see. The 20 second, 10 second timer. All right. Lag, am I right? All right. Oh, that's excellent. All right, that's definitely more than enough. I will clear off the rest of this little bit of space in front of here with a terrain tool. Uh, build a connector over here and then I'll start taking out these fully charged collectors out and start trying to capture some of these ships. Oh, uh, hello? <laughs> uh, okay. Are you coming? No, you're flying away. Yeah, you saw those warheads. You got scared, right? My big old bad warheads. You got scared. Yeah, you run away. Ha! I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not that's not what happened. Okay, time to clear some space and start hacking, and then I'll work on the hangar a little bit, and we'll see if I have time for anything else. This is weird. Bye. Stupid! 
Stupid. Stupid. I for uh, why did it come on? Why did it come off? Because it blew off. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> okay. Well, okay. I love how this got like blown backwards too by the shockwave. I hope you still run. Do you still run? You still run. So here's the irony. I, thankfully, I have a place for you to park. <laughs> what you can't hear in my laughter is the sadness. Oh dear. That sucks. You know what? It's just great because we're just going to get to per we're going to get even more practice with the printer, right? I mean, that's just great news. Goodness gracious. And we're not left without a, a, a collector. I mean, we still have one. <laughs> I just realized, pulling in where the new connector was, that I wasn't going to have clearance on the right. And right after I pushed the countdown, I was like, Hey, that's just enough space, right? <laughs> oh, the uh, dangers of uh, of warhead mining. You know what I'm going to do? Asking that question about the sped up welder, I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to speed the welder up. We'll do one print job with it and we can see how we feel about whether or not that's a little sort of OP or not. It doesn't really add anything narrative to the game, right? Or does it does it in a way that I'm not thinking about? Anyway, gotta clean you up. Gotta get a printer printing. <sighs>
I think that is all I have time for this week. It was nice to be able to do some things that were just aesthetic for once. But here's, I guess, a quick tour of everything that we did. I guess starting where I already am, um, just decided to clean this up a little bit. This side of the hanger, cover up the bottom piece because I thought it looked really funky and just sort of light it up. And I, I purposefully kept a few of these unwelded because I like that sort of scaffolding look throughout a hanger. I don't know if I'll stick with it or not. Walled this side of it off. Um, did some simple things like, you know, just welding up the floor. I do, I'd love some thoughts. How do you guys do your floors and your walls? The armor blocks are fine. And I'm wondering if I just need to like paint the floor a different color. I could use grading. I could, I, I'm not sure. I know right now it's just all of a whole lot of sort of, I, I mean, I like the blue and yellow accents, but I, I just before I started recording doing this bit, I tried a few different paint colors for like a pathway along the floor and wasn't pumped about any of them yet all the way. Maybe I just need to keep playing with it. But anyway, wanting to do some paths, I'll probably think of some fun ways to add some steps and some railings to this part. I'll probably f add some stuff to the floor of this uh, repair printer bay. I've been wondering whether or not I actually want to cover the floor in welders. Um, we've already looked at the printer bay. I'm really liking the way this turned out. I like the way it looks with the, the bay and the floor itself and some stairs there in the back. And then of course, finally, without blowing ourselves up, I have the two docking bays for the collectors. I wanna cover all of this. I need to do some kind of a hanger situation coming out of the printer, sort of a narrow one or something, or maybe I just open this whole portion up over here and, um, build a couple hanger bays going over i don't know i'd like it to look cool too and i'm not sure how that would would, would do but i like the way this welded up it looks like the collector has done its job over here maybe not completely but that's probably a good thing to do at the beginning of the next episode is just grab that so that we don't have any more pcu limit issues so, um, yeah, coming along, let's check out the to-do list and see what we did. Probably not a whole lot to check off. I can't decide if that's discouraging or not. No, it wasn't, because today was fun. Got a lot done. Oh, and there's a couple other things that I wanted to do that I didn't get to. Um, i just remembering now. One of the things I want to make sure that I do next time. I've been seeing some suggestions on the comments about how to connect the other side of the hangar bay two rotors. I think I'm going to say this initial total build, I'm going to mark it as finished. And then I'm going to have to add some specific tasks here. Obviously, the defenses haven't been done yet. Printed a collector, which is great. Designing and building a large grid stinger is probably going to be the main thing that I do next time. Um, and I'd say just in terms of giving us something to check off, that was the bulk of what we did. Let's say decorate the hangar part one. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot more decorating to do, but that's a good start. So as always, thank you so much for joining me today on this episode. Thanks to my patrons. Thanks to all of those who have left comments who are active in our Discord ser server. I invite you to join us there. And invite you to check out the my Patreon page add comments. If you've enjoyed the episode, please click like, subscribe, notification button. Thanks for all of your contributions. And again, thanks for all that you are to this community. And I will see you next time. Into